Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me again this morning on uh, Coffee with the CEO. I'm coming to you this morning from the beautiful Jace office in Norfolk, Virginia. Man, it's gorgeous outside. Bright sunshine. It's a little chilly out there, but uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, loving the sunshine. Spring's right around the corner. Thank goodness. I want to talk to you a little bit this morning about something that's fresh in my mind. I read a blog article yesterday on my personal blog at blog.keithparnell.com about the newspaper industry I ran across an ad from CNN.com um, that named a few probably three or four high-profile newspapers around from around the country that are going out of business not going bankrupt not filing for chapter 11 or, or um, not having financial problems but pure going out of business and I wrote an article about it that was rather harsh it's real it's reality but it's harsh the newspaper industries for years now have known this was coming they knew social media was coming they knew the internet was here and it was here to stay um, the numbers are steadily climbing on the number of people that are, are using the internet and that are getting their news from the internet and newspaper companies have had the opportunity and some of them have succeeded like New York Times and Wall Street Journal uh, both of them are very successful on the internet right now um, they've had the opportunity these newspaper companies have had the opportunity to move steadily move their platform over to the internet maybe not a hundred percent we all know there are still folks that love to read the newspaper and and myself being an internet person I like to read the newspaper every once in a while too I think I just made a comment to to the family this past Sunday that I'd love to sit with my coffee on Sunday morning and read the Sunday morning newspaper I kinda missed that from you know years ago um, but a newspaper company cannot make their living with paper distributions anymore it just can't happen not in today's times newspaper companies have to move and I'm gonna transition that um, conversation and that piece of information to something else that I read yesterday I was reading through um, one of my RSS feeds from CIO.com and CIO.com or in CIO magazine um, it interviews and does articles on a lot of traditional um, IT organizations or IT departments or, or however you want to you want to you want to say that um, IT directors are featured quite often old school IT directors are featured quite often and and that's the article I want to address right here um, there were several several interviews with with IT directors and even uh, you hate to say old school CIOs but because CIOs have that position itself hasn't been around more than 10 years or so um, but some old-school thinking um, information uh, technology and operations type folks still thinking that social media should not have any part of of the enterprise and that's just crazy thinking it's crazy thinking that people are not going to socialize that businesses can't conduct business on the internet that businesses can't conduct business on the internet and socialize with people because their potential clients are not out there well they are now I'm not saying uh, all large corporations should totally rebuild the business strategies towards social media or towards online the online community or towards the internet in general but I am saying that social media sh does have its place in the business strategy and in today's um, business plans um, there, sorry, my my phone's ringing. I'll cut it off for a second. Um, you you can't be so naive to think that leads can't come in from the internet, the business contacts can't come in from the internet, that social media cannot play a, a major role in in driving business and and generating leads and maintaining your business and maintaining client contacts and and general PR. Um, so. It, you, you have to have that mix so if, if you ever hear 
someone, you know, a consultant or, or a vendor that's working for you, whether it's a technology vendor or your ad firm or your marketing firm, if they're purely traditional, you probably have the wrong business partner. If they're purely social media, you probably have the wrong business partner. There's a mix there for large corporations, for medium-sized businesses, for small businesses, for even for startups. There's a perfect mix there and a perfect storm between uh, traditional communication and newer or social media or Web 2.0 or whatever you want to call it, whatever the term of the day is, that type of communication. Um, again, whether it's, it's driving leads or, or building or, or handling PR or, or building relationships online and offline, there's a perfect mix there. There's a perfect storm. So don't forget that. Pick and choose your partners carefully, very carefully. And those that are open-minded towards both sides of the world. You don't want someone that's just channel-minded. Well, I guess that's about it. It's it's pretty uh, bold and brazen topic. But uh, I wanted to kind of get it out there because it's very important. It's very, very important for a lot of people to understand. And too, it's a lot of people, it's very important for a lot of people to understand where we're coming from, where Jace comes from. We we split that fence. We, we help you determine what is is the best means of communication towards your clients and your potential clients and maintaining relationships it, it, we help you decide where you should spend your dollars and and which side of the fence or both sides of the fence you should spend your dollars so if you don't have a partner that's doing that for you um, you should probably look around <laughs> look around for a different partner that will help you and look out for your best interests well I guess that's about it for today Again, I'm sorry it was so so blunt, but it's a very important topic, and, and it's a topic that I'm very passionate about. Um, we've got to help companies move on, and we as small business owners have, have to move on to help, have to help continually open in new channels uh, for new business. Well, I thank you very much for joining me today on Coffee with the CEO. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Have a good day.